so first up we need to install github okay successfully install github okay so now i will download my source code whatever the source code we have for e-commerce application that we have to download i'll go to my github then i'll download so this is my source code open a new link in a tab so get the code and copy and uh, go to your virtual machine and paste over you so what's the command git clone and and you can see that successfully i created my app e-commerce hyphen uh, sorry dash uh, underscore project right so uh, now we have to create docker file for this image right so now we we didn't create any image we need to create a docker file for create a image application image so uh, what is the command nano, nano. docker compose. docker not compose docker file okay what is the command for that okay from we have to create a php a mysql dependency php then we need to copy all the source code from vir virtual machine to container then then we will connect our database see so this is my docker compose file okay so control o enter control x listen so now you can see that i have all the files over here i'll copy this all file from my app e-commerce project to our current directory so cp app e-commerce project star then i'll copy it to my current directory so put minus r up then only it will come or else it will ask a prompt okay ls you can see the whole file has been came to my current directory so rm minus rf app e-commerce project enter ls so that is enough so now i will create a docker compose file to create docker compose file how to create a docker compose file nano, nano. docker okay tag compose yes docker compose dot yml then okay then okay. version okay okay space three so we will use latest version okay we have a three version version one version two version three then services we have to mention so not service services okay then huh. then we have to put two space over here first service so I specify my database as a first service okay so before you creating database one thing you have to make ensure you can see that in my source code you can see over here uh, my host name what's my host name over here no yes host name what is my host name host name right so this should uh, so the same name you should give over here okay host name okay the same name you should give over there for example uh, your host name like uh, database host name is a database then what are you going to give over here database. database that's it okay then uh, call in then actually we didn't create an image at right so we have an option over here build automatically it will build image we don't need to build any image automatically it will build image so i'll put full colon so what is my docker file uh, directory location sorry docker file uh, location current directory so i'll, I'll specify dot okay then uh, what should i give ah uh, ah uh, no not command what are the prerequisites to create a doc, uh, like database? Yesterday we given what or not? Username, username, password, then database name, right? So I'll specify environment variable, environment, okay? Then full colon, then two space, then MySQL root password, then uh, what's the root, pa root password? Root. Then MySQL. User. user what's my username Ashik. are you sure Ashik right username is Ashik password Ashik. Ashik password I'll specify my username is Ashik then what's the password MySQL, MySQL. 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 password ah. Ashik password then sorry okay MySQL database hmm ashik db okay fine everything is okay right so now we need to create our second container so what's my second container name e-commerce application we can put any name no problem okay so i'll put app then then 
sorry actually we have to specify or we have no need to create any image for mysql right so here i need to create put image and this will take a image of mysql mysql here here we need to put our build we need to build what application uh, e-commerce application right so hit enter then build current directory so now is okay see we all it's already available mysql image right we only need to pull the image then we need to create a user and password and a database that's it right but when it come to application that is not a builder right so if you already created a image and you already push that image into docker hub then you only need to specify image then uh, that uh, docker image name that's it automatically it will pull from docker hub but till now i didn't created an image for that so that's what i will specify build then colon then dot then what i have to do eh other the e-commerce application i'm creating it alone image automatically build it every run now automatic docker file run now okay so that's what i mentioned dot current directory my docker file is in a current directory so next what is the next prerequisite illa adu nammal manually cheyyan sambhavam namku automate cheyyan avashyam manually cheyyum next next link ah uh, see link automatically done why version 3 that's what we don't need to mention any linking and all automatically it will work then port that we have to mention okay so i'll mention ports then then 1000 ah uh, 80 anything anything else hmm anything else no control o enter control x everything is okay right anything else okay docker compose engana ipo nammal manually cheyu nammal endi connect ullu kerum paste cheyu pashe naale njan endi am adum automatically process kanikka okay ella image okke nammal push cheyidu docker hub il idum endi avadu nammal pull cheyidirukku okay anything else no so how to run my docker compose file eh docker compose one minute sorry uh docker compose okay up minus d enter and you can see that uh, it is pulling my mysql image so once it pull mysql image then automatically it will create a user database then password okay and it will create a host name as well what is the host name host name okay so then it will see it will create see building application so now it's building my docker file we no need to manually do that automatically it will work if you want to create multiple container thousand container it will create automatically so it is running see my docker image is creating we no need to do that autom uh, manually automatically it will create so i'll get the public ap address first so this is my server i think so yeah i'll get the public ip address then i'll paste over you enter so what is the port number 1000 and you can see that i'm getting e-commerce website right but the problem database. Database, database is not database. there so how then how to connect my database okay so now i'll manually copy all the database tables and all so then tomorrow i will automate this process as well automatically tables and database or automatically will create okay so for that what i have to do okay i'll i'll get the database details i'll go to app e-commerce project then i'll go to assets then okay just copy this use ecom db copy this and go to my virtual machine then docker ps you can see there i have two containers running one is ec2 minus user app another one mysql how to log into my mysql container docker docker exec sorry minus it 40 40 43 okay then bash then mysql minus you what is the username then what is the password ashik password enter you can see that successfully connected how to check my databases so data bases and colon and you can see that i have a ashik db over here ashik db over here right so i'll do one thing i'll edit this file then i'll make it as ashik db okay 
see this file is you can see that ecom db so that we have to make ensure whatever the database we created you have to change the same database okay i'll copy the file then i'll paste over there i'll copy this then i'll paste paste and it's created successfully created i'll go to my okay, website then I'll refresh and you can see that all all our uh, products is visible now database successfully connected any doubt no doubt so tomorrow we will automate everything so i will create a image application image then i will push to my docker okay and i will create one uh, sql image uh, same as then i'll push to docker wherever it is so we only need to create a docker file then we'll call two images automatically it will deploy and we'll be able to access the image and products everything we don't need to do anything manually automatically any doubt